everybody, my name is Axel the Baxalotl and welcome back to Morganite! Finally, I have not had the energy to sit down and record these fan fictions, but I'm getting it done now, so no worries. We are continuing on with chapter 4, and I apologize in advance if my cat makes a bunch of noise. She wants attention, and I'm not giving it to her because I'm trying to work! Anyways, let's just get this started. Chapter 4, Trouble Underground. Alright, so I wasn't able to write this chapter as quickly as I thought I could originally. Sorry everyone, I had to work for the last two days, but now I'm back with some more Morganite finally. Anyways, I've been watching that dumb Tumblr blog and they said they were going to review Morganite since all of their <laughs> jerk ass followers vote for it, so I'm a little miffed. I bet they aren't even going to find anything wrong with it, huh? I beg to differ. There's quite a there's quite a few things wrong with this fanfiction. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to just read and react to everything. It's going to be like all my English teachers did in elementary school, and they're only going to focus on little things that nobody cares about and wouldn't hurt the story. Mm. Okay. Like sometimes OOC moments and my OCs like, duh, of course they're not perfect. I don't want them to be Mary Sue's. So I gave them flaws. See, Morganite was in an abusive friendship with Delilah and Lily and has anxiety problems, which are flaws. And Kunzite can't control her powers and betrayed Homeworld for the Crystal Gems. And there's not a lot of Gundam merch in America, so she's probably bummed about that too, lol. Okay. First of all, there's a lot more to like the Mary Sue stereotype than just being like a perfect character. It is, it is a lot more complicated than that, but we're not going to get into that right now because right now that's not necessarily important, but I might make a video explaining it at a later date. But for all of my good fans, this chapter has some drama and emotional situations. So if you're going through a tough time and are prone to depression or anxiety attacks, then maybe you can skip this one since it may be kind of triggery. I'll probably write a summary of it in my DA journal so that you don't fall out of the loop. So don't stress it. I love you guys for always supporting me and I'm glad that you're all, that you're all still supporting me even now. Okay. That, that author's note was a lot, and I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how to respond to most of it, but it's fine, we're going to move on to the actual story. This chapter is a lot shorter. I fell onto my knees when I saw the kindergarten and started feeling like I was having an anxiety attack. It had been five years since the last time I was there, and it brought back so many bad memories. I could still feel Jasper's hand closing around my throat, and the feeling that I was going to die. Stephen gave me a confused look. Morganite, what's the matter? You don't usually get this dressed. Stephen, don't you remember? The kindergarten is where Morganite got attacked by Jasper and became a gem, Pearl said dotingly. Kunzite was confused. Eh? Morganite, you were a... human? She asked confusedly. <laughs> confusedly. I nodded. Yeah, five years ago I was. That's why I still go to human school. Didn't you notice? No, she said. Anyways, we're here because the citizens of Beach City heard knocking around under the ground and then everything started to shake, Garnet said. Ronaldo's house fell down. Oh no, is he okay? I asked. Worried because Ronaldo was okay sometimes, even though he was kind of creepy since he always hassled me because I'm a gem. It doesn't matter. Let's press on and save the city, Sonia grinned big and went forward confidently. She sounded strong and filled with determination. Lol, Undertale shout out. I'm playing that game right now since my friend Chloe recommended it. And I see the characters all over DA. It's pretty good, but the gameplay's honestly a bit repetitive, and I don't see the big deal about Sans. He's okay, but he's kind of sensationalized, if you ask me, unless the attention is because of genocide mode or whatever, which would just be weird. Who would want 
to be with a final boss. TBH, I like Nastup look the most, at least for now, even if he's just a mini boss. Oh, it's mini boost. Uh, ha 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 ha. In the ruins and is probably just a side character. I'm only halfway through waterfall i may do an undertale related thing once i finish but for now since i have my hands full with this and blackest of nights i'll probably it'll probably just be an oc if anything he 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 okay uh don't put author's notes in the middle of your stories just don't do it it's obnoxious and it breaks away from the story if you really wanted to go on a mini rant about Undertale, you should have made an entirely different thing for it. Not slap an author's note in the middle of your story. That is so annoying. I absolutely hate it when authors do that. I'm not here to read your annoying little author's note. I am here to read your fanfiction. Jeez. But I could tell that she wasn't paying enough attention to her surroundings. Sonia, wait, there could be danger, Amethyst said. Sonia turned to look at Amethyst when she talked, when suddenly something big bashed in and threw her against a wall. She squeaked and coughed up blood when she hit the wall and fell over. Sonia, I screamed, but she couldn't hear me because her eardrums burst. Jesus, okay, that escalated quickly. I saw the big thing that knocked her away from behind a rock. It was a huge fist made of water, and then I saw who was controlling it. Lapis. She looked different from usual, though. Lapis, what are you doing? Garnet asked. Why are you attacking that human? Lapis didn't answer and ignored us as she went towards Sonia threateningly. Lapis, stop! Stephen yelled, but he and he ran to stop her. Lapis looked like she was going to deliver the killing blow, but then Stephen jumped in in his bubble and blocked it. When the water fist hit the bubble though, it knocked Steven against the wall and he bounced off like a ball in a pinball machine and bounced around until he hit a stalagmite and the bubble popped. Steven, Pearl yelled, since he was lying unconscious on the ground a couple yards away. Lapis was still encroaching on Sonia, so I summoned my katana and threw it at her in hopes that it would poof her or at least distract her. But when the katana hit her, it sunk harmlessly into her skin and she wasn't distracted. I screamed when I saw her rear the rear back the fist and before me or the gems or Kunzai could do anything, she smashed Sonia. There was a loud boom and we knew that she didn't make it. I tried to steady myself since I felt like I was going into shock and I couldn't stop screaming. Then suddenly the world went black around me and I fainted. Okay. Random character death just to give character trauma and as far as I can tell has no actual purpose. Cool, cool, we love that. You know, the next chapter is pretty short as well, so I'm gonna read it as, um, read it too, just so this video is longer than nine minutes. Chapter five, beautiful morning. Oh, morning as in morning of death. Ha ha, ha 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 ha, ha. Very funny, okay, anyways. Ha, huh, I could see everyone on the blog scrambling around trying to figure out what I'm going to do to character critique. What? Ha, huh, I could see everyone on the blog scrambling around, trying to figure out what I'm going to do to character critique Central for their punishment time. Well, the joke's on you since I haven't done anything yet. It'll be a surprise when it happens. You'll never see it coming, hee 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 hee. Also, it was annoying that you kept being all like, and then there's just a bunch of asterisks. I think those are asterisks. With all of the eyes and and that would have been annoying to counter critique so i started writing on word so that won't happen as often unless i get super excited or pissed off either way bug off and quit being so annoying there's still time to save yourself from punishment so i'm giving you an ultimatum a secret one and believe me you'll know the punishment when you see it either way though this chapter is to be really good so be excited fans Wow, so threatening. I'm so scared. I know this wasn't directed at me, but that, that just makes you sound very childish. I cannot, I cannot take that seriously at all.
When I woke up, I was at the temple. Kunzai and Sapphire were looking at me. Thank Yellow Diamond you're awake, Kunzai sighed. We thought you poofed or died. I felt sick. Sonia, Sapphire frowned. Sonia is gone. We buried her in the kindergarten and told her parents. I felt a lump in my throat and I felt like sobbing. I stopped myself though and I told myself to be strong. But Garnet, you split? Ruby and I are, are Ruby and I argued about how to handle things, so we split to think about things, Sapphire said. Ruby is in our room right now. Just then we saw Steven wake up on the couch. Eh, what happened, he muttered. Is Sonia coming back? No, Steven. Sonia is gone, Pearl said sadly. But she's coming back, right? Steven asked. Sapphire shook her head, and Steven looked sad. No, he whispered. I knew that he was about to cry, since he and Sonia got along well. But Pearl hugged him to make him feel better. Sonia always liked to play music with him, but now she was... Another question occurred to me. What about Lapis? Where is she? After she attacked Sonia, she disappeared, Pearl said. We don't know where she is, but we'll make her pay. Get up, Morganite, Kunzite said. She pulled me onto my feet, but since she was small and lowly, I had to help her. You did not just describe the character as a little- Okay, sure. We have to do something. Wait, what is it? I don't know if I was ready since my head still hurt and I was still dizzy from fainting. When I closed my eyes, I saw Sonia smiling and being nice to me. I felt anxious. I need to get equipment from my landing site by the beach. I might know something about Lapis and why she is aggressive, Kunzite explained, dragging me out of the temple. Also, I have some coupons for Gundam there and I need them, lol. Do I have to bring out my weapon? Are we fighting, I asked, getting my hailbird out to be ready. No, also, your clothes are filthy and gross. Go get dressed first, Kunzite sneered. Okay, jeez. I frowned, but I ran to my room in the temple, showed, my p showed by a pink gem that was Morganite. I took off my dirty school clothes and instead put on a black turtleneck sweater, a poofy white skirt with black cats on it, that poofed kind of like Fujisaki's, Morino Nihai's, White Mary Jane's, and I tied a baby blue jacket around my waist just in case I got cold. I also put a clip in my hair, but I kept it in pigtails because I love my pigtails. I made sure that the turtleneck covered me neck, and then I left. I got to Kunzai, and she looked shy. Let's go then, she said. We left and went to the beach. Three months ago, Kunzai crashed onto Earth, and I went down to hide in the kindergarten to destroy the crystal gems. Wait, what? Oh, and went down. I put an eye in there for no reason. I was very confused, but it's okay. Everything makes sense again. And went down to hide in the kindergarten to destroy the crystal gems. I remembered when we found her purple wreckage and her Gundam merch and started hunting around for an invading gem. However, where Kunzai's wreckage usually was, there was just a dip in the same and some bolts on the ground. My ship, Kunzai screamed. My, and my Gundam. Kunzai, this is serious. Stop worrying about your Gundam, I said, feeling confident all of a sudden. Do you know what this could mean? No, Kunzai said. I looked seriously. This means that a human stole your ship. They know about you. The more I read, the more irritated I become with this fanfiction. That's all I'm going to be reading for now. Um, okay. I don't have words. I think at the end of this, I'm going to write one big proper critique of the story and make a video. But I'm also not sure. Would you guys like to see that? Should I write critique, like proper critiques of the stories after I finish reading them? Or should I just kind of leave it at like me reading the fan fictions and reacting to them? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out all my social medias like down in the description below. And if you're interested, check out my commissions. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new. Because if you don't, I'm going to steal your toes. Goodbye.